the story of migration is largely being told in very dark, negative, and very apocalyptic terms. A lot of the debate now is, is, is not based on facts. A lot of it is actually paranoia, and also a lot of it is just emotion. So we need at least the, the, the importance of an organization like REF is to bring the debate to a rational level. Migration is a central feature in the lives of millions of people in the Horn of Africa. The Research and Evidence Facility has been created to understand what motivates it, how people respond to changes in the political and economic environment, and how to provide effective protection to people made vulnerable by displacement and irregular migration in the form of evidence and policy relevant knowledge. It is a huge research area, it's very big. Combined with Somalia, because they were moving from Somalia in different areas, this is where they were congregating. So you've got people moving from Sudan, moving from Somalia, you have people moving from Ethiopia, going to this area as well as South Sudan. We are asked to carry out research into the broader context in which people are moving. Um, what are some of the drivers, the main reasons uh, that people are on the move? What are some of the experiences of movement? Um, what are some of the intended or unintended impacts of these activities that are now being carried out under other trust fund activities? We're trying to look at, look at that complexity and give some appreciation of that complexity and, and, and understand what sort of programming can you do that doesn't cripple movement. To unpack this complexity, the REF takes a holistic, comprehensive approach and has thus far examined cross-border economies, migration that occurs from the rural to urban areas, experiences of return and reintegration after displacement, and networks of human smuggling and trafficking. It is an approach that was informed by an extensive literature review that highlighted the research gaps and the starting points to take off from. We are so overwhelmed with information. Uh, for us, it, it's, it's a kind of guarantee of quality. From the findings and from the recommendations, I'm going to at least use one and be smarter in my next uh, design or be smarter in the way I approach a problem or be smarter in the way that I also engage with a, a local partner on, on, an, on a very sensitive issue, which is migration. So it's like taking doing you know doing your job really which is to to have the information as, as a quality information to uh, to inform the way you are working on an everyday basis some part of what the ref does is really about bringing information together this sort of big stock taking exercise in the beginning that allowed us to sort of have one idea about what's out there on migration for the horn the various dimensions that it encompasses that gives us a starting point this region has good universities has very smart people people who are on the ground who know things that we don't and being able to access that when there's a question when something comes up that's a big thing you definitely get their perspective um, in the research um, they're not just there collecting transcripts and interviewing people we're getting their reports at the end of it as well and in many cases they're actually contributing and writing to the final report so there's definitely that feedback mechanism and that feedback process which I think makes a lot of the outputs of the REF particularly um, relevant to lots of different people. The most difficult part is like you know how to translate that knowledge generated from below in a language that policymakers also understand. Our own research has generated a lot of expectation from the migrants. We don't want to sound extractive, just simply extracting knowledge and go. And then they, they were constantly asking us, so what is this for? And they have lots of problems, and uh, some, most of the problems are um, kind of uh, policy related, whether at the regional or international level. They, they were in constantly reminding us that, you know, try to kind of like, you know, use this knowledge that you gain from us to inform policy making processes. Studies conducted by the REF have informed programming of the Horn of Africa window of the EU Trust Fund for Africa and the work of UNHCR related to refugees returning to Somalia. We have been very impressed by the reports we received regarding the return of the population of the Somalis who have been in the refugee camps for many years. The research that was done has been of use to me as a special envoy in my advocacy work so that we know the challenges that the returnees are confronted with and how best we can help them to fully integrate into the society. We would like to try to demystify our, uh, the work that is often very emotive and very, very sensitive when it comes to working with uh, refugees 
and um, a research and evidence facility through independent studies can actually show that uh, it is important and it is possible actually to create a win-win situation between host community and refugees and this is exactly what we're doing through some of our programs. The REF takes a unique approach towards communications and dissemination to reach a broad and diverse range of audiences. Most of the time research activities tend to really think of communication as an afterthought. First, the key focus is on the studies, on the analysis, on gathering the data. Um, and so you think about dissemination later. And what is really unique about the REF is that we acknowledge that there is a need for communication strategy to be built in to the research uh, itself from the beginning. Mm -hmm.